Hi, it is day 19 of Poem November 2022. That's Otto, my dog. And I'm Katie Kazhabowski, a poet, a filmmaker, a theater maker, and the guide of the labyrinth. This month, we're writing one poem a day in the month of November um, as a way to practice returning to oneself by writing regularly to the point where our language feels close to us. Um, today's poet inspirer is Lydia Davis, and we'll be reading her poem, A Moan Lawn. And this was originally uh, published from in McSweeney's Quarterly. So, A Moan Lawn. She hated a moan lawn. Maybe that was because mo was the reverse of wom, the beginning of the name of what she was, a woman. A moan lawn had a sad sound to it, like a long moan. From her, a moan lawn made a long moan. Lawn had some of the letters of man, though the reverse of man would be nam, a bad war a raw war. Lawn also contained the letters of law. In fact, lawn was a contraction of lawman. Certainly a lawman could and did mow a lawn. Law and order could be seen as starting from lawn order, valued by so many Americans. More lawn could be made using a lawn mower. A lawn mower did make more lawn. More lawn was a contraction of more lawmen. Did more lawn in America make more lawmen in America? Did more lawn make nor more nam? More moan lawn made more long moan from her? Or a lawn mourn? So often, she said, Americans wanted more moan lawn. All of America might be one long moan long. A lawn not moan grows long, she said. Better a long lawn. Better a long lawn and a mole. Let the lawman have the moan lawn, she said. Or the moron, the lawn moron. If you know my writing, I think you'll understand why this poem shatters me um, in the way that language can shift our associations as we read each line. And we can see this kind of like dread, dread tone grow when commenting on all of the lawns in America, lawmen and Nam, Vietnam War. Um, so I'm very interested to see what writing comes out of these prompts. Prompt number one being, Think about the concept of a prose poem. It's just a poem without line breaks, possibly. But what does prose that feels like poetry feel like to you? Lydia Davis is quoted to say this. There are very long papers written about this subject of prose poem, what makes a prose poem, but they are boring. For our purposes, if something feels like a poem, then it is. So for this prompt, I'd like you to assume a third person POV and write a prose poem from this person's perspective. Think of Davis's first sentence, she hated a moan lawn and see how she weaved in she said throughout. Um, so this is a prompt on writing a prose poem. Prompt number two. For this prompt, write down six words that all have the same or similar vowel sounds in them. For example, these six words have similar vowel sounds inside of them. Summer, candor, lore, core, founder, sour. Use these six words or your six words with similar, similar sounds to craft a 10 to 12 sentence long prose poem. Connect your words and in meaning and in sound. Prompt number three is to locate a phrase commonly used in a vernacular familiar to you. So that could mean many things. Um, I'd like you to then dissect this phrase. So maybe you're not drafting the poem while you're doing this, but you're writing lines that are like 
opening up this phrase, dissecting it, shifting it, reversing it, whatever it is. I'd like you to also poke at the implications of this phrase and make associations with this phrase. So what does what are the images that come up? What are the scenes from your culture that come up? Um, are there like are there TV shows or movies or books that respond or inform this phrase? And allow yourself to let the associations flow out freely. Right now, you're not crafting a poem. You are just making a list of associations and poking at this phrase. Then after all of this, I'd like you to go into your tangled necklace mess of these lines and associations and fashion a poem that feels like a close examination of the logic or the language or the social constructs of this phrase. And then we have a, a revision prompt. So for your revision prompt, take a piece of prose, maybe choose something that feels more essay-like and like very far from what poetry feels like to you and revise it as a prose poem. So think about what makes prose feel lyrical, um, uh, potentially like repetition of a sound, perhaps there's an extended metaphor or image, perhaps there's more emphasis on the speaker's interiority, um, perhaps also the main driver of the poem is the associative logic and less of the literal logic, as in a moan log. Okay, those are all of your prompts. Um, so today's day 19 of our poem November 2022. Um, I put more information about Lydia Davis in the description below. Also, if you'd like to join our Discord group, we're sharing poems and like comments on each other's poems throughout this month and going forward. So please message me if you'd like the link to that. It's currently private. Um, so there's no robots coming in because we don't want robots. Um, so don't be shy and message me and I'll, I'll send you the link. And tomorrow's Poet Inspirer is C.A. Conrad. Very excited. Okay. You're wonderful. You're doing a great job. <laughs>